First Minister, the budget this SNP government receives from Westminster is on the rise. And what do we have to show for it? Leaking police stations and collapsing ceilings, half-built ferries, boarded up hospitals and closed off children's wards, a crisis in Scotland's schools. Years of missed opportunity from a distracted and disengaged government. Because next week we are promised yet more updates on her favourite topic. First Minister, what chance is there of updating us instead on when your government is going to start sorting out the things that really matter, which are failing under this SNP administration? First Minister. Well, let me just update uh, Jackson Carlaw again on the reality uh, in Scotland, as opposed uh, to what he wants people to think. £1.5 billion in real terms removed from this government's budget by the Conservatives over the past 10 years. Uh, but in spite of that, we've continued to invest in our NHS, taking it to record levels of funding. We've continued to invest in our police service. We've continued to support our public service workers working so hard across the country. Uh, but let me uh, just draw to Jackson Carlaw's attention what the Fraser of Allender Institute has to say about his proposals that he's put forward just in the last couple of weeks. The Freder of Allender Institute makes clear... I'm get a, oh, I'm about to read it out. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm quoting here directly. Uh, Jackson Carlaw's proposals would, and I quote, reduce the government's income tax revenues by around £270 million. Oh. He, wants me to, he wants me to go on. So I will go on. Uh, in addition to that, they say that this isn't about middle earners. They say, and again, I'm quoting, a policy framed as supporting middle earners predominantly benefits households at the top of the distribution of household income. So there we have it, presiding officer. £270 million pounds out of our public services and handy to the richest in our society. That's what Jackson Carlaw would deliver. I'll continue to deliver investment in our public services. <laughs>